Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the fourth annual Union Tournament sponsored by Prodigy Discs and St. Thomas Golf and Country Club. This is the back nine of round two. I am one of your hosts, Julian Murphy. Yeah, baby. And I'm Justin. And <laughs> Julian's fiance is leaving. See you, Amanda. And we got an exciting... Bye. Bye. <laughs> we have an exciting conclusion of this round. We're going to see who can become the Union IV, which is Roman numerals, of course, for four, champion of this year. And we've got a close battle, Julian. We absolutely Huck do. face. Huck face. Yeah, it is. So that's what I got to look like when I throw. And you actually have to put the hood over your mouth as well. That's that's awesome. Gum so, chewer. Gum chewer alert. Martin Hendel, he is 13 down. He had a rough front nine. He's only one down through the front after being 12 down in the first round. Yeah, no kidding. Um, so he's got to uh, kind of clean up some of these birdies. And our leader, Thomas, five down front nine, 14 under, leading yeah. by one. He has clawed his way back. The Tomcat. Tomcat's claw, Julian. We know that. <laughs> now now we know that. Yeah. And the lone American on this card and probably in the tournament, sponsored by Mitten Bags and a Serious Face, is Phil Delone. Four down through the front nine, which is a, a pretty respectful uh, respectable round. Agreed. 11 down in total. Clam Morton. Going to have to try and adjust on some of the putting issues he had the front nine and... We look to see him do that, even with that sick mustache. Yeah, he's still even, too, even with a few... Uh, I know. He just gets one. himself to putting locations all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and our fifth person, of course, because this is a fivesome... Scotty J. Showing that he knows how to putt the disc into chains, Julian. That is how you putt in disc golf here. So... Correct. Last hole, we finished, had two birdies and three pars, and we are going to be going into hole 10 uh, in just a moment here. But yeah, you can see how close the the, uh, the guys are getting here. So Phil Deloney, only two strokes back of Martin Hendel. And here we go into hole 10. What do we have? Um, we saw Thomas throw a wide forehand. That's a that's a good play if you have that distance. A big hyzer forehand around the outside here to the left. 354 feet or 108.3 meters if you're Canadian or European. Uh, you can also have a hyzer flip, maybe a fairway or, or a straight flying driver up the middle here. Or mid, I guess. But you might have this elevation issues. Or can try and throw real risky right side hyzer around everything because you can click a tree and get way deep in the forest julian and this is probably the safest play yeah there's not a whole lot of obstructions on the way on the left hand side you can get pretty close it's That's tough mashed. to get it's tough to get parked but it will happen likely now that i've said that with nah. five guys mashed potatoes yeah someone's gonna park it speaking of someone's gonna park it thomas gilbert throwing his boss maybe red disc maybe a destroyer or a boss we'll see that was a big hyzer line and it flips pretty nicely and that's a good shot. Circle's edge. Still rolling. Oh, Stop rolling. It was circle's Where are you edge. Going? Now it's not. Bye. Now it's still going somewhere. And Phil's up next, I hope. Or he already threw, didn't he? No, he's not. <laughs> Martin Hendel might show us this backhand up the middle line. It's super technical. And he's got a maybe a glow disc of sorts. And this has got to get lower. I wonder if that's one oh, of his signature rates. Oh, come on. Come off it. That's how you throw the middle <laughs> gap. And Martin Handel does not get intimidated by gaps, people. Oh, should I say that Julian looked at me awkward? Yes. He looked at me a little awkwardly there like I should have pushed that. So, yes, here we go. And this is the wide line that needs to get lucky. There we go. See, Clay keeps putting himself in position he to does. make these putts. So. Yeah, he's one heck of a driver, both on and off the course, Yeah. I imagine. Call. Yeah, probably has his G license. Shout out to Canadian graduated licensing systems. <laughs> and Scott and Jay. Unfortunately, I guess if you have five guys in a card, someone's going to do that. Unfortunately for Scott, it was him. That's an evil looking tree. Like it looks like something very that would cool. be in a forest on your way to an evil castle. That's a really good call, Julian. And very imaginative. Your creativity is shining through again. And Scott goes to a knee and this looks good. Yeah, he's going to be inside circle one. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's not missing that by what we've seen. Uh, the front nine, Scott's putting. And not the Scott Jameson you're thinking of. <laughs> Shout out to Chris Brown. Yeah, uh, and not the Chris. And Phil's up now from about 56 feet. Get up. Oh, Ooh. Good line. Wonder, what do you think, Julian? Challenger or Luna? What do you think? Shoot, I read it, and it is... Oh, yeah, we did. We both did. That's my fault, too. A disc. Of sorts. Discraft for sure. Let's say a magnet, which I highly doubt. Thomas from 41 feet. Get some. Oh. <laughs> Great run. So this leaves the door open. Know, but Julian? 
Uh, Look what that Nova he threw on the last hole. Yeah, it could be. Uh, maybe for um, the long circle two putts. I find those discs weird with those nubs to try and putt with them on the inside of the overmold. And Clay, another unfortunate air ball. And he's just struggling to find his grip right now, Julian, it looks like. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's having a tough time with the uh, inside the circle putts, making some of the longer ones. Tom's dad. Always happy, though. Tom's dad rocking a sweet hat like Indiana Jones there. Shout out to Harrison Ford, friend of the show. And Clay cashes for the par. Looks a little bit not as smiley as normal, Jillian. He was a, a moment ago. Maybe he was just concentrating on picking up his disc out of the basket. Yeah. And I wasn't ever in doubt that Scott would make that. Gets his par. Where's Marty? Walking out of Thomas's way so Thomas can focus on this par putt. And I think this is going to tie the, tie the lead back up again. Yeah, where's, where's Hendel? He's about 12 feet. Let's hope so. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not taking anything for granted here. And that's how you become the best player in a country at this point. We and assume Paul Macbeth in. does the same thing? Yeah. He's the best player in uh, Guatemala. Take, uh, Guatemala, is that what it is? One of those countries, but like south of Canada. Right. Argentina? I think that sounds Mick. That sounds Argentinian. Mm -hmm. There's a large Scottish oh, oh, population. Oh god! Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> Who's in there? <laughs> and Phil alone. Always the character. Trying to intimidate us doesn't work, bud. We're on our home turf here. But Phil and three other guys with a par, and the lone birdie goes to Hendel, which ties him, Julian, for the lead. Mm -hmm. As Julian sips a delicious Bell City Brewing, it's a craft lager. The Elijah's real McCoy. It's delicious for a craft lager. I don't mm -hmm. normally drink uh, lagers, but uh, it's delicious. And Julian, what's up here? Hole 11. It's a par 4, but a very, very forgiving par 4. It's 504 feet, so if you can throw it, just throw it straight. Get some forward progress. Um, anything over 200 feet is going to put you with a look for a bird. Um, there's two guardian trees near the basket. The one on the left-hand side has some low-hanging branches that can be in your way. The one on the right-hand side does as well, but typically those branches are a bit further from the basket, so you, uh, you can find a way around them. I'm already going up the gut with a hyzer flip. And this is going to be good. It's going to be real yeah, good. That's going to leave him a very short up shot. Um, just got to avoid those guardians, as Julian nicely described in our whole description. He's got about 110 feet left. Is Phil going to go wide, do you think, or up the middle? It looks like he's lining up that middle with a ESP nuke, maybe? Hmm. No? No, I think so. Nope. Well, that's really understable. Oh! oh. But you know what? He still has like a 280-foot yeah, exactly. look for like you uh, said, a bird. In the description, get it 200 feet, which that probably is more than that. Mm -hmm. And I think Thomas has the distance to get to Circle potentially one. crest 200 <laughs> feet at some point in his career. See and by 200 feet, I mean meters. Yeah, he was uh, second in a distance run competition at Worlds, I think. Yeah, uh, Tom is the real deal. Garrett and... Gerthy, maybe? Yes, Garrett Gerthy. Oh, come, come on. on. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> so he has a circle two look. Yes. Circle two luck, uh, look for Eagle. That was a, a great drive. Through a low ceiling tunnel shot. <laughs> 500 feet. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. And that wasn't quite 200 feet. No, no. but... No. And you know what the funny thing is? He's He has the distance to get to the circle still from there. And a fifth person has joined this card. Scott Jameson from Canada. Welcome. That's the safer play. Again, you don't need big distance off the tee. Yours. I just drank Julian's beer. Shout out to Stealing. <laughs> And exactly. So since you don't need distance, if you just want to play a safe shot, you hyzer it around that stuff. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about what happened to Clam, and you'll get yourself enough distance to attack the basket because yep. he had easily 320 feet there. Yeah, and I think Clay actually, he probably has the distance to get it all the way there, but with that uh, yeah. nagging back injury, it might be and about possible. Oh my God. left to the basket. Shout out to Canada and California. And this Come is circle on. one putt, and he didn't even throw that hard. <laughs> Through the hole. That's right. Clam showing his interesting St. Thomas dialect, which I love. And this looks good. Yes, sir. Yeah, 22 no. feet uphill for Phil Dill one. He's right behind that one low-hanging branch, though, so he's maybe going to have to straddle. Hmm. Good call. Or take a knee, young man. Mm-hmm. And the new player, Scott Jameson, up. This looks great. Come on. New to True North Disc Golf. Not new to Disc Golf, we assume. I uh, know he's been playing a long time. Uh, judging by his uh, player profile that we read. 
and should have memorized and didn't because we are bad at this. Marty, from the very easy position of 100 feet away from the basket, <laughs> yeah. and he's got a four-foot birdie tap, and this is a must-get. Yeah, and absolutely. For Jillian, these guys. What is happening right now again? This is a potential eagle putt. <laughs> this is a petigle. A petigle. <laughs> oh, I got my yes ready. I've got the no. Make it. Come on, Tommy. Ah, uh, too bad. Uh, probably had some lanches in his way, which is uh, low, low branches. Low branches. Yep. yep. Okay. And a miraculous recovery here from Clay. Let's let's convert for a birdie here. Nope. No. Says my button. <laughs> <laughs> and tough to get himself, but this shows how easy that hole is mm -hmm. uh, to get yourself into birdie after that. And an around ring, the toilet bowl. <laughs> ring around the rosy. Yep. And there is a with a pocket yeah. full of discs. Minis. What is a posy? Oh, it's a flower. So a pocket full of flowers. Now mm -hmm. I get it. Mm -hmm. Back to the disc golf action. We have 17 tap outs here because there's too many people on this card. Hold on. Back just a minute. Why would you have flowers in your pocket though? I, I don't. I don't know. Unless it's like the top pocket and you're at a wedding, like a. Oh, like, like a to, to be corsage fancy. Almost, corsage, or yeah. A boot. What's the boutonniere? Is that the guy's one? Boot and ear would hurt. My ears aren't that big. <laughs> I put boot on foot. That's a good spot to put them. And the Can other... you imagine stuffing a boot? In... No. <laughs> anyway, what's happened here? Everybody Jimmy? else just taps out. Uh, we've got three, four birdies and one par. Sorry, and... Scott Jameson. I missed yours there when I was counting. And we <laughs> have Thomas Gilbert and Martin Hendel tied for the lead still. Phil Deloney still only three strokes back and still seven holes left to play. Um, Clay Morgan with the lone par. So he's, again, losing a uh, stroke to Scott Jameson there. Mm -hmm. And that brings us into hole 12. What do we have, Justin? A big downhill. Uh, usually, a, I think a, a smashing hyzer is a safe play. Hang it out to the right and have it kind of spike inside this basket. If you have the touch on a wide open downhill hole like this, you can throw a putter straight at it and have it sit. But you want to finish early because that uh, road behind the basket is only about 12 feet and it comes into play when you're throwing downhill, Julian. Safe plays a hyzer. Aggressive plays a putter straight at it. And I'm going to say Marty does that because he, that's his shot as a straight putter like that. Just right at the basket. Come on, get in there. That's an ace. Yes, our first ace. Oh, <laughs> gosh. And it's that. It didn't go OB. What a shot. Holy that cow. That is so technical, everybody watching. And Phil's like, what just happened? Can I, how do I do that? Yeah, and he's going to go wide hyzer, it looks like, which is the safer play. Have it kind of spike in. Something over stable. It's safer, but is it? it's less fun to watch. Sorry, Agreed. Phil. Agreed. <laughs> and the camera followed that disc perfectly toward the basket. Great Praise line. the cameraman. Or camera person. Uh, this looks like a pig. That's rude. It's Thomas Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing his disc. This is an ace run. Oh, oh, come on. This hole is... Oh, I love this hole. It's so fun to watch. I wish there was more people on this card. <laughs> Perfect. Said, said no one ever. This is also looking good. That's stable. That's uh, turning a little bit much. Parked. I would say if he didn't... Yeah, put it 15 feet from the basket. These guys... Do we have showing. one more? We do have one more. Speaking of good disc golfers, here comes Clam Morton to the rescue. And this is that safe play that also looks like an ace run. It's going to be low, but it's going to be parked. And Julian, I, you know yeah. what? I'm not going to talk about it. Nope. That was, I'm not uh, going to talk about it. Well-thrown well -thrown drives, yep. and uh, everyone yep. has to putt now. Yep. So they're all either in circle one or two yep. or three. doesn't matter. Everyone's yep. putting. And here we go. <clears throat> Phil Deloney makes his putt. Oh, oh, a birdie. Cool. That's one birdie. Yeah. Doesn't even matter if there's any more. No, really. only, only one guaranteed birdie on this card so far. And Julian, I'm not going to lie, I'm nervous about this one. Nope. Give me a one. Give me an e. Give me a And that's... Oh, yeah, sorry. I didn't let the ladies finish there. And come on, Scott. He's not missing this. Okay. Julian. Nope. Okay. Nothing's Sorry. happening. Nothing. Nothing exciting at all. I'm just going to look out your window here. and oh, That's a nice water tower over there. That's quite the view yeah. of Cambridge Hendel's, and Kitchener. Hendel's putting here. That's cool. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this is a boring hole. I think that's, yeah, four guaranteed birdies. Really well done. Star Star frame. Frame. Yes. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> what is it? That was really anticlimactic of a yes. Yes. <laughs> Sound like a water drop. And uh, a five-person star frame. That's huge. We that's... haven't seen one of those ever on this card. And we're going to find a better graphic. No, we're not. Star frame! There should have been two exclamation marks. Sorry to anybody who's watching this late at night, but yeah. uh, <laughs> star frame. And five green circles is a good thing on a disc golf scorecard. And we've still got to tie atop the leaderboard. Yeah, and so that same thing that I said after hole 11, just repeat everything that I said. And it all applies right now, but one stroke less. 
accurate. Uh, and Julian was just mentioning muskets, I think. No, probably not. This is one. 184 meters, 603 feet. Uh, these guys, uh, you're going to see a couple of these guys flirt with Circle 2 territory, I would say. Especially Thomas. And all you really got to do is just keep it on this golf fairway. And the more technical shot, Julian, is the upshot to avoid that hazard sand trap and mm -hmm. these lanches, low-hanging branches. And this is a run-up, folks. And that was a James Conrad run-up. He took all of the tee pad and then some more. And that's going to hyzer out early, but have tons of distance. Yeah, that's really that's all you need. Feet. And he's got mm -hmm. a straight look at the basket. And if we know anything about Hendel mm -hmm. and uh, straight putter shots, he has them and he does them. This is a good craft logger. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know I have to go to work after this, but <laughs> whatever. Phil chewing on something here. Maybe his tongue. Crush! Come on, come on, get out of that. That's no, no, like, ah, still fine. That's a great shot. He's got 400 feet there, so yep. pretty simple forehand, hopefully, for him. Or maybe a little touch putter. We'll have to see. Mm -hmm. Speaking of guys that can get to the basket in one. Oh, yeah. Second in the world distance champion here. For 20 Distance runner-up. 19. Yeah, I think it was this year. Ugh! Come on, you got to turn. No way. Like, don't go on the hazard, because if he goes in the hazard oh, on holy one. Holy cow! That's come on. Life. That's a circle two putt, everyone. So, gosh, that is crushed. So if you ever want to throw far, just take a tip from Thomas Gilbert and just throw farther. Also, uh, steal his frame because the guy was built to throw frisbees far. <laughs> I'm a five foot eight man who is. A... <sighs> and uh, I mean, okay. so is Paul Macbeth. Paul I, Macbeth, I met him. He was shorter than me, actually. I think he's five I, seven, I, maybe. And Clay Morgan's not six five, and he still has a That's true. ridiculous bomb. And Zanini, Zanini's smaller than I am, and yep. he can throw. Mm -hmm. So. There goes that excuse. <laughs> uh, Emerson Keith, he's like... And Emerson Keith is a cute little guy, and he can crush discs, too. Yeah. Big time he can. Shout out to Texas and Emerson Keith. Funny story about Emerson Keith. Uh, Julian nope. and I were at Worlds this year. Scott Jameson. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're not uh, going to tell that story. Well, no, it was funny. I waited okay. for him. He was in a porta potty, and I, was, I waited for him to come <laughs> out. And he was, I was like, can I have your picture? And he's like, uh, yeah. It wasn't uncomfortable. I think it was. It's, more, it's almost as uncomfortable as talking about it now. I know. I... Oh, okay. Hang on. Great upshot by Scotty J. He's going to be edge of circle probably. Yeah. And Julian, a forehand that we hadn't seen yet. Oh, good call. Yeah. So that's 43 feet for Scott for his bird. And Phil going with the forehand looks like a jawbreaker. Nope. That is not a forehand. That is an overhand. That was a touch thumber. That is such a, a good shot to have in your bag. It's like throwing darts. Yeah. And he's got a circle one look. Hmm. Here we go. Martin Hendel, I imagine, with the straightest throw we've ever seen. Get over that, though. Oh, my oh. goodness. That was close. It was straight. It was just a tiny bit low. He might have a bit of compromised footing there. He might have to go to a straddle. I don't know. You're good with the rules. Can yeah. he put his foot in the sand when he puts there? Well, he can take the meter. Oh, right. he, he, can't, he can't have his foot in the sand, but he can take the meter. Or no, it's a hazard, so he can. It's not oh, OB. okay. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And that's why Julian's here, folks, to keep me honest. Thomas for Eagle. <laughs> Never thought I'd be saying that. Oh! <laughs> and oh. two out of three holes, Thomas has an Eagle look. That's unreal. I Like, I can't... I, I'm trying to get it close after my second throw. And I, like... I, I don't I, have that distance. And that's I hear what you're. I hear what you're struggling with. And Scott... Oh, nice try. Yeah, I get it. We've played this hole, so we, oh, we know man. what it's like to try and throw... We've been in that position. To throw it there in one I'm shot. I'm after that position after like four throws. <laughs> Give yourself some credit. I have 130 foot. Uh, Five throws. <laughs> and turbo putt. In the sand. I just turbo putt the whole time. Ah, shoot. What do you expect? He spends more time in the sand than Hasselhoff. <laughs> Happy Gilmore? Yeah. Nice. Good Shooter McGavin line. One of the best uh, protagonists in any movie I've ever seen is Shooter McGavin. So good. Uh, wait, antagonist. Yeah. Clay Morgan makes the short putt, gets nice. his bird. Atta boy, Clay. Nice bird, bud. You got it. Nice spectacles as well. Speaking of spectacles, Thomas Gilbert up next for birdie after just narrowly a Oh, no. no. Justin. You're oh, we were supposed to talk through his. That's his fault. Not talking. <laughs> yeah, the other ones were all my fault for sure, except for that <laughs> one. And Marty for par. Gosh, there's a lot of pace on his putts from the yeah. side. Hey? Yeah, he has a... a like kind of that hard, low stab putt, mm -hmm. but still a tiny bit nose up just to clear the... Um, and that is Julian. Edge of the basket. Julian, that was a courtesy violation. And, oh. and Scott's first uh, 
That's his first missed short putt, yeah, I think. Like yeah, that's, he's showing he's a human here. Oh, what is going on, oh everyone? God. Phil clapped for that and cheered. I'm not sure why. That was a bad putt. This basket um, is cursed. Well, first of all, it's the first level one I've seen. So if you have bought... Uh, all of these baskets were for sale at the end of the tournament. I wanted um, one. I like them. Oh, yeah. They're nice baskets. Mm -hmm. If you uh, bought Hole13's basket, I'm horribly sorry for you because this one here is <laughs> cursed. True. Oh, 13. You just nailed it. Yep. That's it. That's why there's no floor 13 in buildings. There's no basket 13. Oh, man. Or there is. Doesn't matter. Um... That could have been a lot better. That was uh, one birdie, one bogey, and three yeah. pars. Uh, must but, gets too. Yeah, a lot of missed, uh, a lot of missed birdie putts there, and one missed par putt. Um, so, Clay Morgan with a two-stroke swing, he ties Scott Jameson for fourth place, depending on what the other cards are doing. And yes, uh, good call. Tommy G and Marty H are still tied atop the leaderboard with Phil a close third. Is he close? I think he's three, three four strokes. Okay, five. that's three not strokes. bad. Yep. Not insurmountable. No. Uh, speaking of hard holes, Julian, this one here is probably one of the harder ones, mm -hmm. if not the hardest. It's definitely in the top 18 of hardest. Yeah, um, I, would, I would agree with that. Just checking my stats here. Are you typing on that stat board? Yeah, and uh, yep, it was definitely in the top 18. Clay going to get us started here, and it's going to be a backhand shot that you want to avoid those hazard sand traps. Maybe throw a hyzer toward that gate and have it fade at the end toward the basket like this. This looks really good. That was crushed. Yeah. Like, I Come still don't now. understand the distance he ah! throws <laughs> with the effort he puts into it. Oh, man, what a terrible roll. That was in circle one by a mile, bud. Well, still not hazard, still mm -hmm. not a penalty. He might, has a good birdie chance here, so not a bad shot. Martin Hendel, he has rolled up his right sleeve for this throw. Wow. That is, a, is that his putter that he putts with? Doesn't he putt with that blue putter? Or is it just uh, the same color disc? That's got to be a further... Yeah, I think so. And that's parked. Oh! That little hesitation moment. Hit. oh! Slightly more fortunate roll. Why are these discs rolling like that? I don't know. I mean, he's still fine. It's Martin Hendel, but I my goodness. It's pretty cold out now. Uh, the ground was probably pretty hard, so... True. And then that angle of that uh, sand trap mm -hmm. hill might make it roll, and Phil's running up here. Oh, and this is going to be oh, out, no. out of bounds unless it hits that tree. Stay in. Stay in. Yep. Yeah. He loves that tree. He is actually going to... Uh, and that's a maple tree, it looks like, Julian, so... He's he's a Canadian now. Sorry, guys. Honorary Canadian. Thomas speaking Gilbert, who easily has the power to get there. Speaking of Canada, shout out to Old Navy Sweaters. This is humongous. Was that oh! a hyzer? A hyzer the whole way to be... I don't know, maybe an inch. An inch. <laughs> an inch. Shout out to USA, an inch. That was That's that was the unreal. best, shot. Have you, that the best shot you've seen on this? I've never seen anything yeah. like that. that was hyzer massive. the whole way. Scott says, watch this. Skip off the road and get into circle one. That's my call. Oh! Scott has power. Holy cow, does he ever. That was a low, hard drive. I'm going back to M1. <laughs> that's an easy choice. <laughs> okay, so that's how you play this hole. Follow guys. these guys. Yeah, and Phil, a fortunate kick off a tree, misses the gates and parks it for par, pretty much. And he has a chance to rebound after that missed short putt on the last hole, Julian. Unreal. So, Smart play by Phil to give himself that opportunity to make up for uh, a lack in putting. Yeah, Clay throwing two putters. Is that allowed? One with each hand. Maybe it's allowed. Come on. Oh. And just not not feeling the putter this afternoon, mm -hmm. Julian. Yeah, easy par look though. That is a good beer. <laughs> it is. Fail for par. After the fortunate tree kick, taste with the course. Take what the course gives you. No. No. That was an audible punch in my fist because I wanted that for Phil. Philium, for, I think is his actual full mm -hmm. name. Or Philo. Yep. Good disc golf name, obviously. Phil O. The low name. And Scott with a weird stance. Oh, just a little left. And sometimes when you're leaning like that, it's hard to commit to getting it to the center of the basket. Yeah. And it, your disc and your body wants it to kind of... You have to fight that that tendency to, to finish left. And that oh. Ford F-150 in the background, checking out the action, and unfortunately jinxed Marty. And Marty just struggling with that flat stick this afternoon and making it kind of easy for Thomas right now. Mm -hmm. Thomas kind of watching this and saying, you know what? That went all the way through the chains. <laughs> okay. And that Thomas is sitting there like, okay, I've got... 
another stroke on Martin here. This, let's just let's go here. Maybe there's a new Captain Canada, Julian. Uh, it could be. Um, uh, Thomas's rating has been climbing. Um, I know when I started playing disc golf, he was in mid nines, I would say. Agreed. And now he is uh, well over a uh, thousand rated, winning big tournaments. Like he won uh, Goat Hill. Goat Hill in 2019, uh, near the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, there and there was. It's not like summer? that was like a just a. A nobody A tier. Like there were some big names. I saw Risley. Yeah. I think Jones and Paiu were on his card. Yeah, and maybe was Garrett Gerthy in that tournament? Uh, he should be because that's a that's a bomber course, just like Thomas. So uh, we're excited to watch Thomas this year and Marty, of course, and these other guys. And Julian, speaking of Thomas, stealing another one from Handel, and he's got a one-stroke lead now. He does. So coming into the the uh, round with three-stroke uh, three-stroke deficit, he cleans that up, and he's now one ahead again. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see what happens here on hole 15. What do we have, Justin? Uh, you got a vicious downhill. Uh, basket is blind. You can't see it off the tee. Um, I've seen Marty. This is kind of a weird suggestion, but Marty throws a putter straight at it. Um, a more, I mean, a more safe play would be like an overstable putter, I guess, to kind of mm -hmm. throw it towards that road and have it finish toward the basket. The water is super close considering how downhill it is, and it is OB, folks. A forehand is also a good play, and Thomas is about to show you why. Hopefully. Yeah, sure and that is why. That Before is why. A good play. So he Thomas is not letting his foot off the gas pedal, Julian. No, he's not making any mistakes right now. He knows there's only four holes left, uh, including this one. Yeah, and channeling his Goat Hill victory right now, which I believe nah. he won by. <laughs> uh, I believe he won by a healthy portion as well. And Clay with a great shot. Yeah, he right is. Right into dangerous Clay zone. He's going to have to make that putt, Julian. We're going to have to see it. He's going to have to show us. And Marty, I think I fished his disc out of the water in the first round. He just missed the basket, oh, for, no. which is crazy because he was 12 under. <laughs> oh my God. And he throws it straight at it. And this is fun to watch, guys. You know, even if you miss the basket, though, you still have a putt for par. So this is wonderful. Oh, no, again. That was <sighs> Ob. Ob far. Was that Sapo Paiu? Uh, it was a, an attempt at it. Okay. Ob right. I don't know. Shout out to Finland, uh, which I'd love to go to one day, Julian, and watch that. What's the tournament? The European Open or something? Is that what it's called? Uh, is that the, yeah, I think that's the one in Finland because Konopiš stays in the Czech, Czech Republic, Republic, right? Yeah. This looks really good. Hopefully not long. Hit and sit. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Jameson. Thomas Gilbert is the only one who could see that, see that with his six foot five frame. <laughs> it's like being on a ladder. And Phil smashes this and that that's going to have to stable up. up. Yeah, yeah. Good call. And it does. Does it though enough? Oh, Not no. quite enough, but it, it didn't go over. Oh, it is OB. What? Well, so, I don't know the holes. <laughs> so there bad. is OB on that side, everyone. We mentioned that in the whole preview. Might not be. I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore. Yeah, we'll see. It could be OB. It might not be. Not 100% on Julie that. Julian and I, it's not like we played in the tournament. Well, actually, I did, so this is my fault. <laughs> and who is that? If it was OB, he wouldn't be putting from there. So that is can't be OB. Yeah. So Julian and I are wrong. That is not out of bounds. That's a great par putt, probably. Mm -hmm. And Monsieur Hendel, after definitely going out of B, out of B. <laughs> Come on, bud. Let's get the par. No. And he is, no, 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 no. He's just not feeling it today. And Phil's standing there like, what is happening? I thought this guy was Captain Canada. Great birdie. Clay Morgan makes the putt, gets the confidence back. Thomas, after crushing a Nate Sexton Firebird, probably. Uh, they're good friends. Good friends, so, I mean, yeah, that's a Sexton Firebird. No wonder he threw it. Mm -hmm. I believe Sexton has kind of taken uh, Thomas under his wing a bit. I know Thomas likes to stay with them when he's on tour sometimes. Maybe that not might not be the case this year, but last year for sure. Yeah, under his and Firebird what a mentor. wing. What a mentor. Mm -hmm. Under his Firebird wing, yes. Yeah, I, I can't even imagine... Uh, Nate Sexton is known for his um, his safe plays, his uh, layout when you need to. Yeah, yeah. He, he makes a lot of good decisions. So, and he has fantastic, um, a fantastic chat box, mouth words. He says, "Oh, un unreal." <laughs> uh, I look up to him commentary wise now that we kind of done it a bit, and mm -hmm. he's just a brilliant man. So on our card here, everybody hates par. Yep, no pars, no double bogeys though, and no hole in ones. So we had three birdies, two bogeys. That is a huge swing for Gilbert over Hendel. So he now has oh, a wow. three-stroke lead. And um, Julian, six-stroke uh, difference on the round between those two. Three under for Marty and a nine under from Thomas. Yeah. And Thomas has come 
to play, guys. Oh yeah, he is ready, and he is uh, legend. He is legend. <laughs> Big shout out to bands North Carolina metal bands that North I like. North Carolina, thank you. Yeah, uh, hole sixteen, not big at all. Par three, two hundred ninety-four feet. The um, the river there on the right is OB. You want to play a, a straight backhand or a uh, wide forehand to skip it close to the basket. And let's see what Thomas does here. Looks like a forehand grip, and that, you can do it real wide. That might be a bit high. He's gonna have to get lucky here and have it sit. Oh wow, good counter skip, and he's got a circle's edge putt. Yeah, this is another must-get for these mm -hmm. pros, Julian. And Clay last time, I believe, went in the water. This time he's going to correct, throw it a bit higher, and this looks real good. There's a dog running after his disc in the background there. And I did notice the dog had legs that are crooked, so I understand the reference now for dog leg. Ah. <laughs> uh, Shout out to round one, or front nine. <laughs> yep. Scott going with the treacherous backhand. This looks absolutely great. Mate, stable a bit, so he's going to have a... Circle's edge putt as well, but that's a not too shabby, yeah. Julian. That's a tough line, though, because he's going to be facing towards the river a little bit. Yeah. And what is Hendel going to do here? Putter straight at it, probably. Or a rock. That's a rock. That's a disc. Right. And it's going to ace it! Please! Oh! oh! <laughs> Shoot! Oh, uh, Jeff, Jeff, want, Jeff wants Jeff an can't ace. I can't believe it. Oh, my gosh. I hit low middle. Oh, no. How did that not ace it? Oh, my gosh. That's the best shot we've had on True North Disc Golf. Come on. Is it going to go in this time? No. <laughs> it just had too much spin. No way. It just spun You've itself You've got to be kidding yeah. me. Let's do this again. Marty has not moved his left arm. He's like, get some. He's walking towards it and... Oh, oh my gosh. How did that not no. stay in? Well, great shot. <laughs> and it stayed Regardless. close for him too. And Phil's like, God, I got to throw now? I'm going to take my hat off for this one. Yeah. Screw the Red Wings. And now Phil's going to ace it. Well, a little early, but circle one putt, great shot. Jeez. And Handel's disc, sitting there with some brand new chain marks on them, guaranteed. A little more understable now. Oh my gosh, my heart's still beating really fast here. That was, uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all. Nope. Uh, nice try from Scott, he's going to have a par. Hmm. Our uh, Jeff back there doing the film work, we just had a conversation with him, and he didn't really mention anything about that. Uh, which is great because that was a very uh, authentic yeah. and natural reaction from more Julian and I. More fun to watch. Anyone who likes disc golf, which should be everyone watching this, an ace is the most exciting thing in disc golf. We all know that. And if you want to watch a um, really exciting ace as Thomas misses his birdie putt, check out Paul McBeth's ace at the, I think it was Las Vegas, where he runs down the fairway and high fives everyone. Oh, yeah. Every time I watch that video, it gives me chills. So I it's saw, the most exciting play in disc golf, and we nearly had one. Didn't we have uh, one of my favorites is the uh, Greg Barsby roller ace. I've never seen that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my it's gosh, unreal. I that. Like it bounces off a branch near the edge and then uh, goes in. And goes in. It's Holy cow! Ridiculous. Bud. Phil converts for his par after Thomas misses for his bird, which has now given Marty a stroke back, which he's going to need with two holes left, Julian, if he's mm -hmm. got a three-stroke deficit to overcome. Yeah. And Clay stepping up to these deadly twelve-footers that he hates. And he's going to make this one. Yes, with, he is. With confidence. With gusto. That is Italian for courage, maybe. I don't know. It's a gutter mouth shout out. All of our Italian fans just uh, maybe comment here on the... What'd you say? It was a gutter mouth shout out. <laughs> uh, another punk band, I believe. Hasn't that uh, one of their albums? With gusto mm, or something No, like I, that? I didn't really listen to them. I listened to more... Yeah, me neither. Epitaph records, maybe? Scott with a par, Marty with the gosh dang ace run. Woo! Well, yes. Julian, that was so close. And now we're seeing a good couple of slow mo replays. I don't know how that didn't stay in. Yeah, that, there really should be a blue one up there. Yeah, that could have uh, that could have easily gone a uh, slightly different way. So Marty up. gains a stroke back on Thomas. He's two down now with two holes remaining. Mm -hmm. And one of them is that long par five. So there could be some... Uh, that is so long. Could be a stroke swing there. Phil Deloney with the other birdie. And we had three other pars going into hole 17. What do we have, Justin? A very big uphill shot after playing all the downhill shots. 387 feet. So it's a full crush for these guys. Thomas might be able to get there on a full hyzer. <laughs> same with Marty. Actually, same with all these players. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. But uh, a hyzer is a good play to hang it out wide and have it smash into this dead grass schnarb stuff and make a putt, Julian. It's right uphill, though, and it looks more uphill on, uh, in person than it does on camera. And Mark, Martin's shoes squeak there quite a bit. He's throwing straight at it. Yeah, and that's power, folks. And that is a great shot. Yeah, and he knows he needs to do that, and 
he's putting the pressure on Thomas now to answer that shot, Julian. Yeah, we're going to see Phil. What's uh, He's going to throw. Looks like a disc or a Frisbee maybe, or what do you think? A Some plate? sort of dinner plate? Yeah. And that was a, did you hear the audible snap in his fingers? Oh, I can't see it. Doesn't quite cross the hill. Okay, so just a bit too high maybe under that one. Mm -hmm. Good line though. And Thomas is going to throw a 60% G-star probably with a putter. Boss. I don't know what it is. Some sort of tour series stamp or something. And that's a full, full, full hyzer. And this is mashed. Yeah, 23 feet. Mm -hmm. Kind of in that long group of crap on the ground there. Whatever that is. Geese dump or something. I don't know. Are they around at this time of year? Uh, sometimes, unfortunately, they are. <laughs> Clay Clay's Morgan. gone a bit high, unless he has all the power to get there. No, that's a bit high, Julian, but yeah. good line. He's going to land pretty similar to where uh, Phil landed there. And took the fish stick route. High line. Er. Oh. <laughs> and Scott, our fifth player, which I always forget about, is throwing a great-looking shot. This has all the distance in the world, and, and that's great. He's in. Circle one. Yeah. So no real obstacles in the way on the shot. It's just basically getting the distance and height right. Yeah, and Clay with the furthest look is, is actually still pretty close. It looks, so. like, it looks like about 36 uphill a bit. Come on now, young man. Woo! Yes, 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 yes. And four yeses from her. Clay is going to like that feeling after missing a few early ones. And he knew. He started walking right there. See ya. And... Yeah, and that Star Trek putter, or Prodigy, whatever that logo is. It's a uh, PA, one, two, or three, possibly a four if they exist. And Julian, I just started watching The Next Generation again, and it's still as good as I remember from when I was 12. Yeah. Bill bar down. So we've got two birdies, and the other three guys are in the circle. Don't say anything. Cool. I, I don't know. I seriously doubt this one. What do you think? I'm not going to say anything. I could I go one way or the other. <laughs> just squeaks in <laughs> under the band. Like, <laughs> what just touched my foot? Okay, Thomas, this is a big, big putt. Yeah, you might remember him from hole 10. <laughs> yeah! No, you don't. He gets the bird. Uh, did I talk there enough? Yeah, Clearly. I think so. Okay, yeah. good. And his dad loves it, Harrison Ford. Oh, actually, who else wears a hat like that, like a Tilly? Anyone, like the, the crocodile guy that died? Yeah. Steve Irwin? Oh, no, um, Crocodile Dundee. Oh, Crocodile Dundee! <laughs> So we have four birdies now. This was not looking to me like a star frame whatsoever. Mm -mm, not like at all. The other one was very obviously a, a potential star frame. And Martin Hendel, our last putter from 10 feet. Come on, Marty. I'm going to say star frame. Why would you say anything? Because watch. Okay. Oh, you had me there. A star frame on a hole that I would think is not a typical star frame hole, expe ex especially, which is not a word, for five players. That's two of them. We've seen two of them now. That's huge. So the first time we saw it was uh, the first time for True North Disc Golf, this star now frame. being the second. Star frame! Oh, for five sums, you mean? Yeah. Or star frames in general. Yeah, we've seen it. Star frames for five sums. But I don't think we've seen two in a round, especially with a five. These are these guys are just showing us how it's done, folks. And that's not the easiest of holes either. So no, uh, that's the other thing. Um, so after hole 17, Thomas Gilbert still has a two-stroke lead over Hendel. Going into hole 18, the long par five, 1,089 feet. Basically, you want to keep it in the middle uh, for your first two throws. And then uh, when you get a little bit closer to the basket, um, there is OB very close to the basket before it, to the left of it, to the right of it, and beyond it. Uh, sorry, not before it. Um, right. So that garden on the right, on the left, and the, the uh, path beyond it is all OB. And the roller, Julian, comes into play here sometimes if you want to get some extra distance. And that is not going to be one, but that is going to be extra distance. That is mashed, and that needs Missed to stable that up. stupid tree now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> nope. Ah, good enough. Still 500 feet. And Martin Hendel knows how to spin a disc, folks. That is, look how small they are back there. That's crushed. He just might have a compromised line to the basket on his second. Uh, with a not a powerful forehand or a forehand at all. Yeah. But he does have that turnover backhand, Julian. So Phil Deloney warming up. He's this a little bit chilly. He's got Titanium the something. Red Wings hat back on. No roller. Come on. Nah, it's bad, he that, said. Well, That's that needs bad. to get down fast because there is a pond on the left side that you don't want to be too close to, and you also don't want to run up on this hill either. So Yeah, that, that can definitely mess with your disc elevation on your shot if you're running up or down. And he's got a quite a ways left, and this is what I've been waiting to see. 
maybe a roller. He threw a roller in the first round, but he's got a two-stroke lead, so it might be safe just to kind of play for a par here. Mm -hmm. Crush. And that's going to be all the distance you need. <laughs> oh, Holy wow. crap. <laughs> I can't do anything but laugh. That is absolutely hammered. <laughs> Holy smokes. That is several hundred and feet. And I wish we were allowed to swear on this channel, but we're not. And that, that is, is far. That is gone. And that had a uh, Canada stamp. Was that the um, Thomas oh, Gilbert his Destroyer? Oh, his destro is it a boss or destroyer he has? I forget. I can't remember. It definitely looked like a Thomas Gilbert Tour Series disc, maybe. Yeah, I recognize the CN Tower on it. <laughs> yes. Uh, shout out to Canadian Landmarks. And this looks good. Flex out of that. Oh, another murder And then bomb. come back. <laughs> wow. Just absolutely mashed. Still a couple hundred feet less than Thomas's, probably. And don't forget, we have five people on this card. Oh, yeah. Hey, Scott, Scott Jameson. What's up, dude? And he can... Th oh, that might turn early. Stable up. Come on. Be sneaky backdoor. Oh, oh gosh. That's in the fur tree. Fur? Something. <laughs> oh, can a tree grow fur or an animal? Uh, both. Okay. Thank you. And Scott might have a jump putt here. <laughs> turn. Might be a turn. Hopefully it is with uh, with his line mm, here because you don't want to be throwing towards that now. pond. You got to sit here, please. Okay, so the pond definitely isn't as close as we think, but still, it's still in your head when you have a disc fading out high like that. Mm -hmm. And what's up next? I'm going to say Gilbert's last. That's my guess. And Phil and Marty and, yeah. Smash. That might be turned too much now. Oh, yeah. Oh, good cut roll. Back to the middle. Great shot. We saw him attack the basket with a thumber last time. I'm not sure if he has the same position here. I don't know if it matters for him, though. He has he has a heck of a thumber. Yeah. Well, that one that's tree there might... That's pretty far, though. Yeah, that's far. <laughs> and that tree on the, the big high tree there with no leaves uh, might block the angle that he needs for that. I'm not a really great thumber thrower. I'm not sure. And Clay going roller, which I was hoping we'd see. That's, that's got to stand up, though. Yeah, that, hopefully that's pretty understable. And it, yep. That's it great. That's great. He's likely yeah, it's pin, pin high. high. Yeah. Wow. And that's going to make that upshot pretty simple for him. Probably some sort of a putter on a little bit of a hyzer to kind of sit before that OB you spoke of. Mm -hmm. Now, and Martin Hendel with the compromised line, mm -hmm. he's going to have to throw a big Annie or maybe a roller. He's throwing something far, that's for sure, by the way he ran up. And this is going to have to flex out. Oh, it's a roller! Uh-oh, that oh, didn't that hit the bad ground. kick, and this is going to go backwards, folks. Don't and stand up now. Uh-oh. That's going to be in the pond. Yep, that is bad. Oh, come on, please miss it. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Dang! And it's floating, so hopefully he can retrieve that and get the fishy graphic that we had seen once before. Uh, on this course. Ah, shoot. That's unfortunate. Marty knew he had to get aggressive oh, there. He's fishing right now. Okay, there he is. <laughs> Trying to mess with Thomas's brain. And not working, because Thomas knows now that he has this tournament in the bag. As long as he throws a roller. Wow, he says, screw you. And that was, if you freeze frame that, that was a heck of a huck face. Oh, I wasn't looking. I was looking at the disc angle. And speaking of dangle, he just did that. And now he's got a very easy upshot to win this tournament. And Julian, I believe he won the Amateur 1 division in the first ever Union tournament. Yeah. And now probably going to make, barring some weird roll away or a handle throw in from 400 feet uphill, he's probably going to be the MPO champion. Well, even with the handle throw away, or throw in, sorry. Yeah, what was it, two strokes before? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Tom, it's, it's Thomas done. could put it out of bounds beyond the basket and still have a 15-foot putt and, yeah. or 10-foot putt for... And Thomas at this point knows, I believe. So all that's left now is to see... Who is going to finish 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th, and 11th? Yeah, as, as long as Thomas doesn't just turbo putt his way uh, out of the rest of the hole. I mean, that's ill-advised, but he could do it, I suppose. He is Thomas Gilbert, everyone. And that is way right, but hopefully stays safe for, Thomas, uh, for Thomas's friend Scott. So no thumber. Wow, this looks really nice. Yeah, it does. That needs to settle down. Just sit. Yep. Okay. Great shot. Yep. And that'll be for his bird. Yeah, probably... Probably a probable layup, I would say. Yeah, he's <clears> likely <throat> around 100 feet out, I would imagine, still. Or a floaty bid. And Clay, after that great roller, has his third here. And this just has to hyzer toward the basket and sit. Great shot yep. from Clay. Clap from the gallery. 
there was a nice um, balcony here that we could watch these shots from, and I was standing right there enjoying myself, and I remember watching this shot and thinking, this is really good. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. What a shot. That, Very good shot. That's a, that's So dangerous. many things could go wrong there. Mm -hmm. Scott showing some touch in front of the fans. There's about 16 of them watching, which is quite a lot for Canadian disc golf. Were they oscillating too? I don't know what that word means, so yeah, probably. Hey, gosh! Oh, that was such good touch. And that's... Marty with his second OB. Yeah. On the hole. And Gilbert's dad saying, son, put that pig nice and close and you got this. Tom says, yes, dad, I don't want to be grounded, so I'm going to win the tournament. Puts it onto the basket. That's a drop-in birdie yeah. on a 1,089-foot hole um, with a lot of up and downhill. No wonder it's Tom mm -hmm. The guy's an animal. And Phil waved. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Waving. And Clay. Wave Come on, bud. Look at that gallery. All the boys up there. Uh, I see myself and Cam Zanini watching. Very curious about this putt. Oh. No! I don't have the no button. Oh. And he said, it's been like that all day, guys. No love. Yeah, big shout Clay's out to Sean out. Coker in the background. Yeah, just a medium-sized shout-out. Nah, sorry. He's a good dude. Scotty J cleans up nicely after that wonderful upshot. Very, like, Marty's trying to pick a line here. Doesn't want to get penalized. <laughs> And we have camera evidence of where that went out, Marty. And unfortunate tournament for Marty. After the great 12-under, mm -hmm. he wipes a tear, smiles, gives Phil some props. Or some praps, if I was Phil speaking. Yeah. Some praps. Praps. Perhaps he gets a birdie on this one, or a par. <laughs> and everyone's clapping. And this is disc golf, you guys. Clay says, gosh, I'm still out. Thomas must be really close. <laughs> yeah, Woo! And Thomas, the winner. Yeah, Tom. What a tournament. We Heck have a birdie. Yeah, yeah, baby. Thomas. Cheer on your card mates here. Give everyone a high five. Track pants. Unzip it. Zip yeah. it back up. <laughs> <laughs> we want to see the blue for a second. Yeah. That was, uh, what a show. So 11 down and a 9 down, Julian. Yeah, that's huge. So uh, Marty with the unfortunate double bogey. Um, Thomas with the birdie finishes with 20 down through the Jeez. event. That's huge through two rounds. So a fantastic second round by Thomas. And not surprising on a course like this, it plays into his game. And uh, we had a monster tie, I believe, for fourth place. Um, you're going to see here Clayton Morgan, Scott Jamison, Jamie Bogart, Greg Grutenberg, Brody McDonald, and that rounded out the five guys tied for fourth. So I'm not sure what the payout was, but it was probably split. And uh, we've got one picture there on the screen at the bottom right there. Shout out to Justin Murphy. I finished dead last. With, I uh, I was... No, there's there's more. There's uh... I thought I, I didn't think I was last place. I no, there's I... a couple more people. We just didn't have room on the uh, the screen here for them. <laughs> well, good. I just made <laughs> at least I made it onto the screen then. Uh, Duong Frisbee. <laughs> yes, that's his real name, uh, guys. Hopefully we get him on coverage soon. And uh, Julian, what is this? This is the retail store in Brantford, True North Disc Golf. You can go to our website, truenorthdiscgolf.com, and get updates. But if you want to do and uh, sorry, look through all of the discs in person, feel them, touch them with your hands, head to 51 Woody Yat Drive, Wood Yat Drive to the Brantfordians, and feel some plastic, buy some plastic, and have a quick peek at it because it is fantastic. Yeah, and well organized. And also, while you're there in the same plaza, why not visit Bell City Brewing because they have this Elijah's Real McCoy that's super good. Ooh. Back on task. Congrats, Thomas Gilbert. Uh, great tournament. Marty with that 12 down. Couldn't really answer the second round, but uh, he's, he'll be happy to finish second place, Julian. And, yeah, that uh, does was, happen. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Uh, great coverage and a great tournament. Um, again, big shout out to the TDs, um, the volunteers, everybody who runs it, puts it together. This tournament is on a temporary course, so we only get to play it once a year. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that changes in the future. We don't know uh, one way or the other, but um, that would be very cool. So um, thank you very much for following along. If you like our videos, then subscribe. Subscribe. Correct. To and them. We are going to be producing a lot of videos, guys, so stay tuned and see what's next on True North Disc Golf. Peace out.